Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rada Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the first ever fragrance released by the company Hermes for men that is. And this one, a 1970 release is called Equipage. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Equipage by Hermes, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. It would mean so much to me. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way, when Whenever I do put out these videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. And I should also mention that if you are interested in purchasing this fragrance, you may do so at Max Aroma. I know the fragrance itself retails for close to $150 American. It's in the 140 range, but I know Max Aroma currently has it on sale for in the $80 range. So you will be getting a significant discount on this one. But it also goes without saying that I actually purchased this one with my own money. And I actually purchased this one earlier on in the year because I wanted to familiarize myself with some of the classics. Now, of course, this one came out in 1970. So it's been around for 50 years now, kind of hard to believe. And I will go as far as saying this is the best men's fragrance release of the year 1970. The only other one that could possibly give this one a little competition is Royal Copenhagen, but I think there's no competition if I'm being honest with you. Now, of course, the perfumer for this one is Guy Robert, and he has done fragrances for Chanel and Gucci and Dior and Rochas, very impressive resume. And of course, this is a fougere fragrance. Now, of course, when you're thinking of fougeres, the first fragrance that you should think of is Houbigan's Fougere Royale, which is a women's fragrance that was composed in 1882. But then, of course, we have this classic men's fragrance and the name Equipage means horse and carriage. And it actually pays homage to the rich history of the brand. And this is inspired by the spirit of teamwork, according to what the brand and what the perfumer had to say about it. And of course, the founder of the company, Thierry Hermes, when he founded the company, he had a harness workshop and he used to serve European noblemen. And so this one goes back to the history and the etymology of the brand. I'm really excited to be reviewing this one for you guys today, but let's go ahead and start things off by taking a closer look at the presentation. So I do apologize for not having the box for this fragrance, but I did indeed purchase a tester many months ago. But here is the bottle. It has the classic Hermes shape that you will also find in their Un Jardin collection, as well as the Hermesens collection. You have Equipage, the name of the fragrance written here on the front. You have the Hermes logo. On the back, you will find this graphic of a horse and a horse rider. On the bottom, you will find a sticker with your batch code printed in white, and this is an eau de toilette concentration. The cap for this fragrance clicks into place very securely. You can pick it up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. Now, before I begin discussing the smell of this fragrance, I do want to mention that there is a more recent edition that came out in 2015. That fragrance is called Equipage Geranium, and it's composed by Jean-Claude Elena. So in this video, I'm only going to be discussing the original, which is composed by Guy Robert, and this one came out in 1970. So please do note, as a consumer, there is a more recent edition that is spaced out a few decades after the release of the original. So this one is an overdose of carnation and Brazilian rosewood. Yes, there are some herbal and aromatic ingredients in here, kind of putting it in that fougere family. There is a coumarinic base, so it has cinnamon, it has tonka bean. It also has a little bit of vanilla and amber as well, but really I'm getting a hearty dose of carnation, which is a spicy floral ingredient with undertones of clove. And I'm also getting a lot of Brazilian rosewood, which can also have nuances that are floral and spicy as well. So I feel like the combination and the interplay of these ingredients is really interesting. Now I know there's a Comme de Garçon fragrance out there called Carnation, part of the Red series if I'm not mistaken, and that one also gives you a really good interpretation of what the note of Carnation smells like because not only does it contain Carnation, but it also has that clove nuance in there. It also has a red pepper note if I'm remembering correctly, and so it's spicy, it's woodsy, it's a little 
eugenol heavy and eugenol is a naturally occurring compound that is found in clove and bay leaf and a few other ingredients as well but this one definitely has geraniol it has that eugenol it has that clove nuance but it also has that aldehydic opening in combination with those green earthy elements in the base they really make this a phenomenal fougere this is such a classic men's fragrance and with it being the first men's fragrance release from the brand hermes i feel like if you own this you are owning a part of history now like i said this is a green leaning fragrance and it has a lot of green ingredients in here so you're going to get pine tree needles, you're going to get oak moss, you're going to get patchouli, you're going to get vetiver. So there are a lot of characteristically green ingredients and I'm definitely smelling a nice combination of them, but I think it's heavier on the oak moss than anything else. So what you're mostly getting from here is the oak moss, the carnation, and you're also getting that Brazilian rosewood that is a base note, but I perceive it from the opening as well because it has that woodsy, spicy, and slightly floral nuance about it as well. Now, there is another floral ingredient in here called liatris. Liatris is also known as deer's tongue or wild vanilla, and it has a honeyed aroma. But liatrix absolute, which is the perfume ingredient, is made by Robertet, which is the company that synthesizes these ingredients, and they classify it as a hay, tobacco, and coumarin ingredient. So I can also see how it contributes to that tobacco-y nuance and that earthy nuance of the fragrance while also contributing to that coumarinic sweetness that I think is also given to this composition with the inclusion of notes of cinnamon and also tonka bean in the base as well. I think this is a phenomenally well put together perfume. This is such a classic and elegant, refined and sophisticated men's fragrance. If you're wearing a suit and a tie, if you really want to carry yourself uh, to your best capacity, I feel like this fragrance will put you in that state of mind. And I'm personally a huge fan of this fragrance. I'm so happy that I own it. And despite the fact that it was released 50 years ago, you can smell the richness and the quality in the fragrance. And it definitely carries forth a lot of those values that are being represented by the company Hermes. So very proud to own this fragrance. And once again, if you are interested in picking it up, you may do so at Max Aroma. Currently, they are the website that I found that has this for the most inexpensive expensive price. In any case, thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is 100% a unique fragrance. As a matter of fact, Houbigant's Fougere Royale preceded it by many, many years, but this took that DNA and it stripped the lavender, it kept the bergamot, it took away that geranium, it added the carnation, so it provided its own pleasant twist for men. And I feel like this did pave the way for a lot of other green carnation and fougere fragrances that came after it. So very unique, very original. However, it is going to be reminiscent of decades past. So please keep that in mind. Perhaps to a lot of people, it's not going to smell ultra modern or contemporary. In terms of the longevity, you can expect eight plus hours on your skin. The longevity on this one is very, very good. The projection is fantastic for the first three hours of application. It doesn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that six to seven hour mark. But just please note that the performance on this one is very good. In in terms of the versatility, I think this one gives me formal occasion vibes. However, because it is found pretty affordably online, you can wear this one in a casual scenario. I just think that this would work really well in a shirt and tie or in a suit and tie. I think this one is better suited for somebody who's a little bit older and a little bit more set in their ways, a little bit more confident and mature. I don't see a clubbing teen wanting to wear this one. They probably are going to reach for their one millions and their Atsado wanted and their Jimmy Choo urban heroes, right? But this one very distinguished, very refined, elegant and sophisticated, very gentlemanly as well. A classic fougere. In terms of the presentation, I do like the upgrade and I like the uniformity among their other collections, which includes the Hermesens line, but also the Un Jardin line. My final verdict on this fragrance is I think it's a masterpiece. I love this fragrance so much. It is the best fragrance release of the year 1970. It's one of the best fragrance releases from the brand Hermes. And despite the fact that it's quite different from a lot of the bubblegum, contemporary, tonka bean, vanilla, and sweet men's designer fragrances that are hitting the market, I love this one because it's a blast from the past. It's definitely evocative of 
an older time, for some people a better time, and I'm personally a huge fan of this one and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my fragrance review of Equipage by Hermes. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please do go ahead and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And of course, that includes fragrance reviews just like this, giveaways, unboxings, special guest interviews, and a whole lot more. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.